windy, windy, windy day here in the Florida Keys, but it's a lot less windy than it's been, and a lot less windy than it's been going to be for the next few days. It's a lot less windy than it's been, and a lot less windy than it's going to be. So I am out here. Uh, I'm going to be working the flats today. Uh, the last video you saw was a couple days of uh, chasing permit. Now I don't think it'll be very effective today because I'm at a high tide, so it'd be very hard to see them. But one thing I did notice on my last trip were the amount of large barracudas on the flats and then these uh, sand pockets. So I brought my special barracuda lure there. So I think I'm gonna do some drift in the flats. If I run into a bonefish permit, excellent. But uh, I'm gonna be looking for those logs hanging out in the sand patches and uh, see if I can pull a cuda or two. But we're just gonna make what we can out of these windy days. So see what we can do. All I'm running through are these uh, white sand patches. They don't have to be this big, but uh, they make great uh, ambush points for the uh, barracudas. They'll just sit in these pockets. They tend to be a little recessed and just wait for food to flow over them. So I'm just ripping this lure across as fast as I can basically. Oh, a little needle fish. This lure, I can launch a mile. Oh, whoa! He wanted it. Come back. I didn't even know what that was, but it smashed at it. Missed it though. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, oh, two of them. Three of them. Look at all of them there. Oh, he wants it. Five of them. Look at that. They're right there. That's what we're wanting. That one, there's one there. Just get it past it and rip it through there. See if he goes for it. You see it? Oh, he sees it. I need a drop anchor. Dang it. Oh, 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 oh. Ho, ho, ho. He's looking at it right there. Oh, wanted it. Oh, there, yeah, that's a big boy right there. There it. There's a bunch of mullet all lined up in here, but still, once again, brought the glass minnow net. But we'll throw on this one, otherwise there's some muddied up area that might be a little better. Need that muddy to confuse them yeah I need to get that muddy area so this area has got a bunch of mudded you can see them running so they're in this pocket here so I should be able to throw on them even though it's deep yeah we'll do a test throw just to see I think I got him. I think I got him. I see flashes. Feels heavy. I see flashes. Yeah. Perfect. Some big chunker ones in there too. Alright. Whoa. You almost escaped there buddy. You almost made it. There we go. Got our 10 inches of wire there. Oop. Let's put this guy out. I've been seeing a bunch of uh, kudas around here. I mean, this is where the food is, so gotta figure they'll be around here as well. 
in the rain, but I'm just going to drift around and see if we can get bit. Oh man, I was just reeling it back in and oh, there he is. There he is. He wants it. He's hungry for it. That's what they do. They'll kill it and then come back for it. All right. Put this guy out here out of the muddy area. Oh, 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 oh taking it. Did he take it? He got it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Dang it. Dang it, didn't. I think I just pulled the hook. Thank. Yeah, just like that. I had a light drag on it because I, I don't know why, but I'd like to let them run for a little bit. Didn't think it was gonna be that fast, so I couldn't set the hook. All right, try that again. They are here. Make sure he doesn't get whacked right there. Oh, no. Running. Oh. Got it? Now he's got it. Oh, there we go. That time we got it. That time we got it. Set that hook. Oh. All right, we got our boy this time. Hopefully, we can stick him here. Stay out of these wood piles. This is on the uh, Esky fifteen twenty. So you can see how it's got a pretty good spine except for the top quarter there. This is my medium heavy. Uh, throwing tarpon baits, some of the bottom rigs. This is what I was catching those groupers on the bottom with. And then I can go upgrade to the, uh, the heavy if need be, but this is perfect. So it's got good backbone, but a somewhat flexible tip. but definitely got enough torque for these bigger fish. All right, landing time. Ugh. Quick hands, quick hands. Ugh body this is a chunk a lanka <laughs> dang holy man I'm all the way back uh, look at that fart toad there oh yes perfect circle hook this comes right out Man, look at that. Whoa! Oh! Ow! Nice. Don't bite, don't bite. There he goes. Stinkies! <laughs> Alright, let's catch another one. Whoa! Whoa, what was it? 
let go, whatever. Or it cut me off. Yeah, it cut me off. That was a big mama jama. Man, nope, still there. Good. Oh, just couldn't hold them. All right, there we got something. Oh, I don't know what it is. It grabbed it. I think we got a shock. It's gonna pull me out in this storm. Didn't jump. Didn't do much of anything. Well, the GoPro died. It died, so we're on the other camera. I thought I saw shark tail. Pretty sure it was a shark to begin with. Ah, it was just too windy out there, so I came back to the launch. But one interesting thing, and this is I've been seeing quite a few around, so that's a good sign. Right there. That's my perfect size permit bait. Look at that, he is just perfect. I just want to film you. Oh, he's only got one claw, but yet he's ready to strike. Stop. I mean, he is just a perfect permit bonefish size. Digging down there. That'll get me there. There, there, there. Perfect size. That is the money. But I've been seeing these quite a few of these around, so I'll get these make uh, bait catching easier. All right, you can go. It's just playing with you. Nice. Permit time. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go dry off and get something to eat. Bye.